your TV off, break that boombox out. We'll wake up all the neighbors till the whole block is. Hey guys, so today's video, as I'm sure you already know, is going to be some DIY Starbucks drinks for the summertime. These are like all of my current favorite Starbucks drinks, so I thought I would DIY them because, you know, it's a little bit embarrassing when you walk right into Starbucks and the barista like knows your name, your life story, everything. But yeah, I just thought I would come up with some really easy ways to recreate certain Starbucks drinks. You guys should comment down below what your favorite Starbucks drink is. I think mine would have to be the Oprah chai tea. That's probably like my all-time favorite drink ever from Starbucks, but it has to be iced. It cannot be the hot one. It has to be the iced one. So yeah, comment down below what your favorite one is. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already so you can see more videos from me. I've been uploading a ton lately and it feels so good to finally be back on YouTube with like a consistent schedule. So yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want to and without further ado let's get started with the video okay so the first drink we're going to be making is one of my favorites and it's the orange Valencia refresher for this you are going to need lemon iced tea any kinds will work you're also going to need orange juice and one whole orange You're going to want to use a cup that has a lid on it so that way we can shake it at the end. But the first thing that I'm doing is adding in half or I would say a third of the orange juice and then that same amount in the iced tea. If this makes sense, hopefully I'm saying it right. And then after that, I'm adding in some water, which I completely failed at. Apparently I forgot how to pour water. But after you've done that, it's optional, but you can add in orange slices just because that's what they do at Starbucks. And then you are just going to want to shake it up so that way it gets all mixed together nicely. And I uh, decided to pour it into a Starbucks cup just to make it more, you know, real looking, legit. And then I added in some orange slices again, and I love the way it turned out. And it doesn't sound like it would taste like the one at Starbucks does, but it tastes identical to it. It's kind of insane how much it tastes like the one from Starbucks. Okay, you guys, so this is it. My favorite Starbucks drink ever, which is the Oprah chai tea. We're going to try and remake it. So the first thing you're going to need is chai tea concentrate, which you can find this exact one at Target. You're also going to need your preference of milk and some vanilla syrup, which you can find in the coffee aisle. The first thing you're going to want to do is fill your cup up about a third of the way with the chai tea concentrate and then make a 50-50 ratio with the milk so that way it's not as strong and then I'm adding in just a little bit of the vanilla syrup and after that you're just going to want to shake it up again so that way you get it all, you know, mixed together. Once you've done that you can just pour it over some ice and you have your very own Oprah chai tea. This tastes so good, and if you guys have never tried chai tea before, I highly recommend it. It is my favorite thing in the entire world, as I've probably mentioned like 10 times so far in this video. The last recipe in this video is one of Starbucks' newest flavors, and that is their Red Velvet Frappuccino. It's in like this contest to be on the menu forever. I don't really know, but anyways, you're gonna need chocolate ice cream. You're also going to need raspberry. I put ice cream, but it's really like sherbet. You're going to need your own preference of milk, and then lastly, the best part, whipped cream. So a blender is needed for this recipe. The first thing you're going to want to do is add in a bunch of ice and then also add in a scoop and a half of the chocolate ice cream and one scoop of the raspberry sherbet and then as much milk as you want depending on what consistency you like and then all you have to do is blend that up until you get a really nice consistency for an amazing Frappuccino. Once you're done blending it all up, you can just scoop it into 
to your container of choice. I obviously chose a Starbucks cup again, and then you can top it off with some whipped cream, which is really fun to do. And then I also added some chocolate drizzle onto it because that's what Starbucks does on theirs. And then you are pretty much done and you have an amazing red velvet frappuccino. What could be better? I am obsessed with red velvet, so this is perfect for me. Throwing me on t-shirt over the lampshade. I take the furniture. I just realized that you can see like my fan in the background and stuff. Wow, this really isn't a cute background at all. Um I apologize. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this Starbucks video. Like I said, it was so simple. All the recipes are just like no-brainers, but I really wanted to share it with you guys because it's a super easy way to save money that people don't normally think about. So yeah, I just thought it would be fun. And who doesn't love Starbucks? Probably a lot of people, but if you're like me, you're just full on obsessed with Starbucks. So this is a good video to watch. <laughs> okay guys, so that is everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.